you should have gone for something a little more traditional. Oh, don't, Dad. It's not that you're not beautiful. All brides are beautiful. Go into the church. I need a couple of minutes. Can I have a cigarette? I wish you'd give up smoking, love. You know it's not good for you. They're my lungs. Just leave me alone. They're waiting for you, love. Too old, I'm afraid. Next week I'll be looking for something a little younger. A little girl I know. A very pretty little girl. She's about eight. Blonde. What colour's your hair, Angel? Black. A wig, maybe? Anyway, I'll book an appointment. You ready? Almost. Okay, let's move on this thing. Okay, babe. I want to see face. Just piss off. Joe, you're supposed to be Joan of fucking Ark, for Christ's sake. What's the story? <laughs> Your lack of professionalism is really starting to annoy me. You are a saint. Now fucking well start to act like one. Don't speak to me like that. No picnic being tied to this fucking thing. What the fuck are you talking about? Your picnic, as you call it, is costing some poor bastard 30 grand. And you, Jane, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband. To love, honour and obey. Job's done. Good. Look, we've got another booking. He's asked for you. I can't do it. This shit's getting to me, Barney. I want out. Calm down. I've met someone. And he thinks you're a brain surgeon, right? A secretary. Christ, what am I doing here? I've got to get out. Jane, we will talk, but right now... I can't. I don't want to lose him. This client is already chained up, and I can't just leave him there. All right. But I mean it. Girl. I want a cigarette. Give her a cigarette. Give her whatever she wants. It's got too much riding on this. Is this? I don't want to get trapped. What the hell's going on, Jane? As if it wasn't enough for you to walk down the aisle dressed up like some fucking Christmas tree. You have to go and pull a stunt like this. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. You love me. Look, just come back into the church, would you? It'll be all right. Get off my fucking dress. You can't do this to me. Christ, if it wasn't for me... If it wasn't for you, what? Hello, Jane. Fred? Rough day at the office, was it? I didn't know secretaries had such fairy duties.
Look, Jane, if you want me to say I'm sorry about last night, I'll say it. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about last night. There, I've said it. Happy now? Don't you patronise me. Patronise you? Just who the fuck do you think you are? Why do you think we booked you for this job anyway? Your tits aren't that great. There are other tits, honey. <laughs> Come on, I've paid 150 bucks for this. And I'm just another client, right? You're obviously professional. This is one hell of a nine-to-five job, Jane. Well, come on, I want to see how you really spend your working hours. You couldn't give a shit about my feelings, could you? Christ's sake, Jane, I don't really think that's the issue. That's it. I'll sit in the front, thanks. Me. Fred? You're sick. You can't seriously expect me to stay with you now. So I'm leaving. Go on, Sarah. Leave. And not only that, you're also sexually incompetent. That's it. You're finished. Everybody's going to hear about this. Your career's over, sister. I'm leaving. You can't leave me here. Come back. Come back, you bastard! Come back! Come back! Fuck you! Huh. You think you've got problems? I drove a cab for six years, I've seen everything. Girls like yourself don't know shit about the way things are. I used to pick a woman up twice a week who had no legs. Now there was a woman. Never heard her complain. The sky was blue, the grass was green, and the roads were grey. You think about that. And I used to carry this other woman who had a crick in her elbow. That's right. Cricking a bloody elbow. Do you think I heard anything apart from that crick? No, I bloody did not. The sky wasn't blue enough and the grass wasn't green enough and the roads... Well, the roads weren't even grey for that bitch. And every time she got in my cab, I wanted to snap that crick in her elbow. Really give her something to bloody worry about. And I took this other woman once. Now there was a saint. Six kids under six. Husband drank, beat her. Two jobs just to make ends meet. Never a bad word to say about anyone. Sure, she knew deep down inside that there was green grass somewhere, but she couldn't see it. You see my point, don't you? Girls like yourself with your fancy outfits and casual attitudes, you don't know shit about... Oh, Christ, you talk a lot of crap! Stop the car!
staring at? <laughs> Nothing. Have you found a cigarette? Yeah, but nothing to bloody light it with. Use this. <coughs> it doesn't work. Wet. Oh, for God's sake. I just feel so stupid. Me too. Let's go out of this goddamn place. You married? No. You? No. Hey, you. In the white. Virgin. You got a reading problem? Poor little thing. I am Virgin. Eve. Wife of the noble Adam. It was I who violated Jesus in the past. Fuck up. Not even as if I slipped my way to the top. The middle would be more like it. <laughs> to you, saint, I am saint. It is I who should have been crucified. <laughs> Children of heaven. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 